Friday's workout starts out with a strength portion for the day. We're gonna have two different options depending on um, what equipment you have. But our first option is gonna be with a barbell and a squat rack. We are gonna go every 90 seconds for five sets. You're gonna do one tempo back squat and then one regular back squat. A tempo back squat is five seconds down and then five seconds up. Then our regular back squat is nice controlled down and fast up, all right? So you'll do one set on the zero, one set at 130, one set at three, one set at 430, one set at six. Um, if you don't have a squat rack, you can do the same thing here. You're just gonna need to clean the bar up and put it on your back in order to do the tempo back squat and the regular back squat. If you don't have a barbell, our second portion is gonna be, full, is gonna be split squats. And this is gonna be on the minute for 10 minutes. On the first minute, you're gonna do four tempo split squats. On the second, on the left arm, or on the left leg, sorry. On the second minute, you're gonna do four tempo split squats on the right leg. Our tempo split squat here is gonna be four seconds down and then fast explosion up. You can hold your dumbbells any way you would like, but ideally we would hold them down to our sides like a farmer's carry. In order to do our split squat, what we're gonna need is a chair or a bench, um, or a, even like a box to put our back foot up on. Um, if you uh, have a hard time or are really tight on doing this, I'm gonna show you how to also do this from the floor without your rear foot being elevated. But what we're gonna do is take about three of our feet off of the bench, then our back foot goes up, all right? Now, from here, I'm gonna keep my chest nice and tall and I'm gonna drop down for that four count. One, two, three, four, and then up. And then down. One, two, three, four, and then up. All right, so if we go out farther, if I were to take four steps out, this is gonna change this. And if I'm really tight in this front hip, um, it could be a little bit uncomfortable, but it's gonna change this to more of like a glute hamstring exercise as when I'm closer to it, it's more of a quad exercise. So depending on what you wanna work on for that day, might depend on how far out you step. But ideally it's about that three feet step out, okay? So, but even if I'm out long, I'm just dropping straight down, chest staying upright, two, three, four, and up, all right? If we have some balance issues or this is maybe a little bit too advanced for you or in your true coach, it shows just a normal split squat, what we're gonna do, just find a line, take those three steps out, step back on our line, holding the dumbbells here, down, one, two, three, four, and up, and down, one, two, three, four, and up. All right, if you have any questions, let us know. Second part of our workout on Friday is gonna be bubbles. It is a 12 in the AMRAP, and it is eight bar facing burpees, then 25 double unders. This is gonna be a fast, hard paced workout today. We're really thinking about what is, how, how we're gonna feel on this is gonna be more like a mile and a half to two mile run for time. So we have a nice, steady movement the entire time, but it's a fast, hard pace. Um, if we need to go single unders, it's gonna be 50 single unders, or 25 double unders, or tw uh, about 30 seconds of double under practice if we are just looking at practicing our double unders. If you have any questions on either part of these workouts today, please let us know and write us on True Coach or write us in the comments and we'll get back to you.